Hi. On this video, I want to talk about what uh, took place at the wedding, at the dinner, the wedding supper. I'm going to be in Matthew 22, 2 through 14. I'm not going to read all of it, just what I need to read, and it's in red letters. That means that Jesus spoke about this himself. So the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. The word bidden means that they were invited. And again, again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, which are invited, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come into the marriage. But they made light of it. And it and went their ways, one to his farm, and another one to his merchants, merchandise, which means to his business. They weren't ready. They weren't coming. Even though they were invited, they didn't have time to come. They just didn't worry about it. They're like, maybe later, I'll catch up with you. Then saith he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. They were invited, but they weren't worthy. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had on a wedding, had not had on a wedding garment. And he saith unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king, Jesus, to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called and few are chosen. This, because they were invited. Here he's talking about all the ones that were invited. And he's mentioning that even though these people were invited, they didn't come to the wedding. They didn't. This reminds me of the wise virgins and the foolish ones. The wise virgins were the ones that were telling the foolish virgins to come to the wedding. Come. He's ready. He's ready. He's prepared. Let's go to the wedding. But here it says that they didn't make take light of it. They didn't take notice. They weren't making themselves ready. Now, the foolish virgins were saved, but, but, they didn't make themselves ready. They didn't think about Jesus. They didn't think about the wedding. They didn't think about going to heaven, meeting up with Jesus in the clouds. They weren't ready. They went back. It says, but they made light of it and went back their ways. One went to his farm and another to his merchandise. In other words, they went back to their lives, back to the world. They went back to their farms back home. They went back to their businesses. In other words, things were as usual, going to work, going to school, taking the kids to school, having a part-time job, whatever. They didn't care. They were not interested in going. And it says here, they were bidden, they were invited, but they were not 
worthy. They were not worthy. These were the foolish virgins. They weren't ready. They didn't make themselves ready. Okay? And here, where it talks about where Jesus notices them, and he says, what are you doing here? How did you come in here? You're not wearing your garments. You're not with the Holy Spirit, fully with the Holy Spirit. What are you doing here? And he calls, he calls his servants and he says, bind his hands and his feet and take him away and cast him into the outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. I used to wonder about what it really meant about gnashing of teeth. Well, here it's telling us that these people were called and they were invited, but they weren't ready. They were the foolish virgins. And they were taken out into the outer darkness. There there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So the foolish virgins, the ones that were invited but weren't ready, they were told to take, be taken out into the outer, outer darkness where there will be gnashing of teeth. The outer darkness, that's away from heaven. It's another place. It's not hell. It's a part of hell. But because they were saved, but they didn't make themselves ready, they, God, Jesus said, the king, he said, take them out and bind their hands and their feet and get them out of here. I don't want to see them. They're not mine. I don't know who they are. They were sent into the outer darkness for gnashing of teeth. These were the foolish virgins. They were not worthy. They weren't invited to the wedding because they weren't ready. Even though they were invited, they didn't make themselves ready like the wise virgins. This is pretty amazing because it clarifies a lot of things. It's talking about the foolish virgins. It's talking about the wise virgins. It's talking about that Jesus noticed them and said, away with you. Get them out of here. I don't want them here. I don't know who they are. Get them out of here. This also uh, leads me to believe is, knock, knock, Lord, Lord, you know, I want to come in. And he says, get away from me. I know you not. Get away from me. I don't know who you are. They were not found worthy. So they were cast out into the outer darkness, into the outer darkness, away from heaven. Not hell, per se, because in hell you will burn for eternity. You will burn in hell for eternity, which is a lake of fire, the second death. But here they're talking about gnashing of teeth in the outer darkness. So make yourself ready. Make sure you have your garments. Your garments are your salvation that Jesus brings with him the holiness as royal family that we are. So this is what they're talking about here. They were invited, the foolish virgins, but they were not found worthy. Okay? So I'll talk to you later.